They've done it again. They've done it again. Wizards of the Coast. Once upon a time, Field of the Dead, Smuggler's Copter, December 2nd, ban announcement. This video is probably going up at the tail end of December 2nd. Uh, effective date is tomorrow, a.k.a. Tuesday, and we get another one coming up pretty soon. And hot take time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is crazy. Pioneer is crazy. Honestly, the biggest hot take out of anybody, not including myself, Twitch streamers, Twitter community, public outcry, magic players in your shop, YouTubers, it is Wizards of the Coast laying down the fire, laying down the heat with these actual hot takes every week, week in, week out. I don't know what to do. This format's insane. A lot of adjustment, a lot of creativity, a lot of <laughs> careful and crafty uh deck manipulation and uh and deck building and brewing and all that good stuff i guess uh, another another week uh let's let's do it guys uh yeah i don't know like i think uh the f man i really don't like seeing smuggler's copter go i'm just gonna lay it out there that's that's my hot take uh i'm a big advocate for it i, I wanted to touch on this in in uh Actually, there's a lot of videos that I was thinking about making before they dropped this, uh, and a lot more videos that aren't quite as scuffed as this one will be. So here we are with another scuffed hot take. Uh, Smuggler's Copter, great card. Uh, creates a lot of interesting deck building, the gameplay with and against it. Um, even if you hate the card, being a card in a format, the gameplay with and against it's pretty good. We didn't even really see a Braids in this format. Uh, we didn't see much abrupt decays, even that much fatal push, honestly. Uh, so, outside of mono black, but the card ran fairly rampant, but not to an oppressive degree. Uh, and I think the argument uh, is that when it's good, it's in a lot of deck lists. Um, even if the deck lists themselves are diversified, ultimately they are smugglers, copters, decks. And uh, that's unfortunate because I think I think I, I really enjoy that card um, being in the format, but it's gone, uh, which now I think aggro gets a lot worse, uh, at least immediately. I think if I had to be a, a prophet, uh, you know, if I had to predict the future, I'd say this format probably slows down quite a bit. I think initially you're going to see a lot of mid-range strategies. Uh, people really flex their three, four mana planeswalkers. Not really many ways to deal with it. Probably thought season abrupt decay, that uptick uh, in stock goes up, heroes downfall, dreadbore, uh, white, uh, you know, prison realm kind of cards. These effects and mid range strategies in general will probably see a pretty good uptick. And then treasure cruise, dig through time, uh, Ugin, uh, emerge strategies. I don't like. These kinds of effects will probably then take over, and the format will probably need some adjustment because I think ultimately, if you can combine elements of mid range strategies, counter spells, removal, three, four mana planeswalkers, solid creatures, and then you have the top end of these kinds of effects, those decks get really good and uh, they get really good really quickly. And they're tough to deal with because they attack on multiple angles. And you don't have quick strategies to kind of keep them in check. And maybe combo decks kind of exist. Maybe. I think the format could potentially be degenerate. Uh, but rather degenerate in a different way. Fueled by Dig Through Time, Treasure Cruise, Ugin. These kinds of top end strategies. And then maybe if the format gets too turned on its head. Maybe then you start to see an uptick again in aggro decks. Possibly, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I really didn't have this video planned. Super scuffed. I think the format is wide open. I hope that people enjoy the format. I hope that the the initial reaction isn't a negative one because this is pretty exhausting, kind of. To, an, to I mean, it, it's it's tiring. You know, it's nine twenty two p.m. I should be playing some Pokemon right now. Uh, I should just be chilling, re relaxing, and here I am making a video because whew, I was having some enjoyment 
thinking of some decks I wanted to play, some enjoyment with some interesting YouTube ideas, and that's all out the window because now I got to rethink what we're doing here in Pioneer, and that could be a bad thing, but hopefully it's it's more of a good thing. I, th I think that kind of refreshment might be good for the game, hopefully. I think a lot of people are really exhausted, but people really like Pioneer. People really, really, really like Pioneer, and I really, really like Pioneer, and I... I I hope that it remains healthy, and I hope that there's not too much degeneracy going on, and uh, probably fairly soon we'll see some more bands, because I think uh, the, the format's probably headed in that direction. And uh, yeah, Field of the Dead, love to see you gone, get out of here, card sucks. Uh, <laughs> we're giving some real hot takes. Once Upon a Time, I don't know if I, green decks, they don't really need Once Upon a Time. I mean, Oko is still going to be good. Uh, you know, Questing Beast, uh, Green Planeswalkers, Green Creatures, uh, Green Ramp, like even Ugin strategies that are based in green really don't need Once Upon a Time. The card is very, very good. It's very strong, but it's not a enabler like Ancient Strings or Mox Opal or Faithless Looting to an extent. And even in modern... Ancient Strings doesn't really power out Eldrazi right now. It, it's not needed. There's Eldrazi Tron. The deck is just fine on its own because of some other reasons. But the point being, these kinds of enablers are really solid, but they don't... You know, the, there still could be... Unless the deck is really synergistic with that enabler, to some extent Faithless Looting, uh, unless it's really good with that enabler and it absolutely needs it... And, and unless, you know, if you have a, uh, a situation where the enabler is kind of just there as an enabler, it helps. But it, it's not really the, the glue of the deck, uh, like Faithless Looting could be um, argued. Then those cards are still going to be good. Those cards are still going to see play. Green is probably just fine. Um, I think aggro decks really get hurt from this, at least initially. Maybe they uh, self-correct in the future. I'm tired. This is exhausting, but hopefully in a good way because it keeps my mind going in terms of what do we do next? Uh, what's the next week going to look like? And I think there's a, a boiling point where the community is really getting close to um, public outcry and that ban hysteria altogether. It's getting to, to somewhat of an extent where people are getting a little bit uh, what's going on wizards you know and uh, that could be another video in and of itself i got some i got some sneaky sneaky ideas we got some we got some woodworks some things in the woodworks i'm i don't know where <laughs> this video is super scuffed but i'm uh i'm excited to explore the format uh i'm excited to delve deeper uh yeah that no i didn't really need to wink or try to wink or pretend to wink for that uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep this video fairly short because I am uh, I am running on fumes right now. I'm gonna go play some Pokemon. I'm gonna go probably watch some Netflix, and we're just gonna chill. And then maybe we build a deck or two in the next couple days. Uh, crazy stuff. Uh, Wizard just with another with another uh, curveball in there. We're gonna cut the video now. I hope you guys enjoy. If there's feedback that you give, positive or negative, if there's any criticism, if there's any support, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, give me anything. Uh, that keeps me super motivated. I have a lot of ideas in the, the pipeline, in the woodworks, <laughs> so to speak, and I, I kind of want to flesh those out at some point. So any kind of motivation to help me along the way, even if it's uh, constructive crit criticism, I appreciate that as well, and I, and I respond pretty pretty well to that and yeah i hope you guys enjoy i hope that the overall response to this is positive it's going to be tough it's going to be a tricky one um, but i think we'll adapt i think in general people are probably going to respond well to this because it's just more refreshing uh content i mean at the end of the day new content is new content like you know and this format is is literally the definition of new content week in week out uh, so with that, I think I'm going to end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Um, have fun. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Hopefully soon. Peace.